Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks and Five, where we discuss Lego content and videos around five minutes. Well, uh, Star Wars Day 2024 has come and gone. I guess technically not, because it's not May 4th, but the release day, um, you know, May 1st came. Um, and I had planned on making a video, uh, but I probably was going to make it for a few days because my haul has not arrived. I ordered on lego.com. Um, but it's um, not been the most enjoyable experience, we'll just say. Um, I'm wearing my Star Wars The Last Jedi shirt because I think it kind of fits into how my Star Wars May the 4th promos uh, have gone, honestly. Um, you know, I was excited for a new Star Wars movie, and I went and saw this, and it wasn't good. And that is kind of how my Star Wars day, I guess, is going to go. Um, so I ended up placing four orders. Um, all of them have shipped. And yesterday... Um, I got noticed that the first two had shipped, and so when I checked to see what, what was coming, uh, the first order was actually the first order that I'd placed. It was um, the Emperor's Throne Room diorama and uh, one of the MIDI scale ships. Put me over the threshold. I got to use that discount. They're sending me the three gifts with purchase. Everything's great. Second order, I went to look to see which one had shipped. Now, I... I have a lot of the uh, UCS sets, at least, you know, maybe not some of the old original ones, but a lot of the, you know, ones over the last 10 years. So I was excited to get the TIE Interceptor, and I ordered that one, and I had redeemed points for the Ninjago docks. So I went ahead and redeemed that. I was excited. Now, I was noticing trouble when I was trying to purchase items on release day. Um, what was happening is I would order, and this is typical. I had a lot of problems last year where, you know, I would try to get in. It would put me in the queue. A lot of these things that probably, you know, some of you have experienced. But I have to wait. Finally, after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever I get in, I'm able to add things to my cart or attempt to. It gives me an error. I ended up having like five tie interceptors in there. And then trying to remove them, it was giving me errors. But I finally got it all worked out. So I had my tie interceptor. I had my Ninjago docks. And I noticed, I went in, and it didn't show the gifts with purchase, so I went back out, went back to my bag, kind of had to do this a couple times, and then the gifts with purchase were there, so I proceeded to the checkout, had some trouble there, you know, with the payment processing, but finally it went through. When I was looking at my order, I noticed there's no gifts with purchase coming with my TIE Interceptor. So, I'm like, what's going on there? So I went and looked at the last two orders that had not shipped, the third order, it also had the gifts with purchase, all three of them there. And then the fourth one, it did not have any gifts with purchase. So two of the four orders do not have the gifts with purchase, even though they're well above the threshold. So I was trying to figure out, I'm like, what's going on here? So I called Lego Customer Service, and I talked to a representative. I said, hey, I've placed an order, but it looks like the gifts with purchase are not being sent. And before we even pulled up order numbers or anything like that, she said, okay, just to be clear, it is one gift with purchase per household. And I said, well, this I've done this in the past and this has not been an issue. And she said, yeah, uh, it's always been the rules that it's one gift per purchase. And and I've seen that, you know, it's one per household uh, in the terms and condition, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, that, that thing you see at the bottom of coupon, one discount per customer. But, you know, the, generally that's not followed to the letter. Well, what she told me is, yeah, there's one per household, so if you've received another one being shipped, I'm not going to be able to help you. Not so for you! And so, sure enough, that's the issue. And I, So then I proceeded to ask her, I'm like, well, what about returning it? Can I take it to the Lego store? She said, well, I can help you. I can, you know, reroute it back or, you know, we can get a label set up. And I didn't want to do that because on each of the four, I redeemed a code. This was the, the other issue that really bothered me is, you know, they had three sets, at least in the U.S., that offered a discount. There was the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama and the Ghost, and those were the two that I wanted. And then there's a Chewbacca, but I didn't do that. But I wanted those two, and then um, I went ahead and you had to redeem zero points, but it gave you a code to get the discount. And the issue I have with that is, once you have that code and you enter it in, you cannot enter another code. So I had already redeemed points like a month ago for the Ninjago City Docs micro build. 
and I wasn't going to be able to redeem that as well as the discount. So that's why I had to end up ordering four different things because I had the two discount codes, I had the Ninjago docs, and then I redeemed points for the Star Wars coin. There was the gift with purchase one, and then there was a special one on the on the uh, VIP or insiders uh, account. Anyway, so the two that I redeemed the discount code are the ones that are coming with gifts with purchase. The other two where really the main thing that I wanted was that gift with purchase that I had, or excuse me, the insider redeemable reward. Uh, those are coming on another order. So I could have just had them return them, but I wouldn't have got my gift with purchase or my, my redeemable gift, whatever. So what I'm going to have to do is have those packages arrive, and then I'll probably just have to mail some back because I'm not going to spend 160 or $200 to not get any gifts with purchase. Uh, and I find it really frustrating. Um, I think it was two years ago, so not last year, but the year before, I think, was when they had the, the Lars Homestead Kitchen with Aunt Beru. And I had placed, uh, I think, four or five orders then that were over the threshold. And the last one, they had sent me an email after a few days saying, okay, your order is ready to be shipped, but we're out of this, so we've canceled it. So they didn't send me a gift with purchase. And so it's frustrating that this has happened. Um, and so when I asked the gal, I said, you know, I've done this before. Her response was, our software is getting better at determining when you've already made a purchase. So, you know, she's like, I can help you if you want to do a return. I'm like, well, you know, I had to make that decision. No, I, w I want to get it so I can get those, those things. But um, it wasn't a great experience. Like last year, I got so frustrated. I think this was actually uh, the only purchase I made because it took me I think an hour and a half or two hours just to get the one item I wanted. So the last couple of years have not been great and I'm starting to wonder, you know, is it maybe time to be done with Lego Star Wars Day? Because I, have I've, you know, would save up my Star Wars purchases because I'd get extra points and I'd get the Star Wars gifts with purchase. But I think I may have to uh, just start in the future saying, you know what, I'll try to get one thing and be done. And... Uh, you know, maybe cut back on the Lego Star Wars. So, I don't know. Um, have any, has anyone else out there had any issues with theirs? Um, I wonder if it's going to happen to people where they've been caught and they're not going to know till it arrives. You know, maybe they didn't look. So, um, that's going to do it for my, uh, well, I don't want to say review. We're not going to review anything. Uh, that's going to do it for my, my review of my Star Wars experience, we'll just say. So, uh, it was uh, not recommended. <laughs> That's going to do it for this episode of Jason's Bricks and Five. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy building.